Or we'll have words. I'm sure we will. We will okay. <laughs> so, uh, it's been an interesting week this week. Okay. And uh, I want to jump straight to it. Uh, and with, uh, with screen number one. Ooh. Yeah. Now, our, uh, we mentioned him last show, but our mutual friend, John Rarak, has posted this on Facebook recently and you reposted it, right? Yeah, and can I say, John, because I came over to your place on Sunday and I didn't get a free meal. You're not getting any plugs again. John from Philolene's Restaurant on Mount Alexander Road, <laughs> Mooney Ponds, best Greek cuisine in Melbourne. You are not getting any more free plugs from me. Ben Wilson. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, but you, you're still getting them from me, John. Not a problem at all. Hear this, hear this. <laughs> well, you know, I'm banking on it. Yeah, you bank. You bank. <laughs> Anyway. Okay. anyway, back to this now. So, this is an interesting organisation. I've never heard of this organisation before John posted this up. The European Paratroopers.org. Okay. And, I, and I think, I, like I told you a little earlier on, I did some some research, Very can't even call it research, just looked them up pretty much on, on their website and apparently they're based in Slovakia. Well, the first thing that becomes apparent here is Creta Memorial. It should be Cretan Memorial. Because okay. these people are complete cretins. Complete cretins. <laughs> because if you have a look at the fine print, boys and girls, let us pay tribute to our fallen airborne brothers who successfully accompanied the first strategic airborne operation in history. And what they're referring to is 1941, when the uh, Germans landed their paratroopers on Crete mm. and caused untold misery yeah. to the island population. And yeah. this year is a particularly sensitive year because mm. it marks the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Crete. Mm -hmm. This weekend, although the show will probably go to air sometime after that, we're mm. celebrating here in Melbourne as a community that battle with various parades, uh, the Archbishop's coming down to give a speech mm -hmm. about the church during the Battle of Crete, very, mm. Crete various other uh, exilosis. Mm. And here are these insensitive morons mm. doing this and glorifying mm. the Nazi invasion. Now, the yeah. Nazi invasion was a very evil thing. How dare they mm. sully the memory of the valiant allies and the native population of Crete who mm. afforded possibly the longest and most strenuous resistance right. of any other European nation yeah, absolutely. against the yeah. Nazis. Everyone else capitulated right. pretty quickly. Mm. The Cretans wouldn't have any of it. No. There are photos where Cretans are actually unarmed, jumping mm. on armed German soldiers yeah. and trying to disarm them. That's mm. how courageous they were yeah that's how committed they were to freedom yeah and you go and do this and celebrate what barbarity yeah. darkness and unmitigated evil slovakia of course there was czechoslovakia mm. um hitler famously took over the sudetenland and then bullied the western powers into yeah. occupying czechoslovakia mm. and the western powers did so to appease him it was one of the greatest failures of uh, western democracies mm was allowing this guy to do that okay mm. so the czech republic was the czech part of czechoslovakia was absorbed into the greater german reich mm -hmm. and slovakia became a rump satellite state ostensibly ruled by a slovak priest mm. father tizo i think his name was right uh and uh they were collaborationists right so these were people that were on the evil side during the Second World War. Yeah. And this is just sick. Well, this I found is thoroughly it, offensive. I, you know what? I mean, the poster the poster and their emblem, it almost makes it look like some sort of official uh, military um, event. And, and and I was first thrown off by that, but then I looked at the um, uh, the web the web address and I said, Well, I don't see a dot gov anywhere, so it must be some organization. And uh, sure enough, uh, yeah, it's just a, a small it's, little club that's located in Slovakia. It's ostensibly misleading because you have a look at their banner behind the moustached moron there with the very unfashionable beret. <laughs> and uh, you see the stars, so it looks like it's the European Union. So it looks like Let it's semi-official. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then you have what looks like an airborne tampon coming down in a parachute. <laughs> airborne tampon. Well, that's what it looks like. And I'm sorry. It's it's a terrible, terrible travesty yeah. to commemorate and celebrate unmitigated evil mm. by the people that perpetrated yeah. the Holocaust, by the people that raped and pillaged so many countries, including Greece. Yeah. 
by the people that stole our gold reserves? Unbelievable. Why would you do this I, 80 years later? I just don't know. I'll <laughs> tell you why. And this is the scary thing about human nature, in my belief, Pete. We forget. Yeah. You know, at the end of the First World War, we said that's the war to end all wars. This yeah. is so bad it can never happen again. Yeah. 30 years later, here we it go, did, round yeah. two. Yeah. Yep. World War Two. we'll never do this again. Yeah. All of a sudden, we've got the nuclear arms race. Yeah. We have this terrible tendency. Yeah, we do. Yeah. But do. we must never forget. No. And that's why these memorials, these tasteful memorials, uh, they're there more so to remind us not only of the courageous acts that our ancestors or people, um, not necessarily our ancestors, but anybody who actually have had to fight off an invasion, you know, um, have uh, you know the sacrifices that they've made. But how lucky we are that we don't that we're not in a position today to be able to actually uh, fight that same fight. If we don't keep on reminding ourselves of that, then Stuff like this. I mean, you start glorifying stuff like this. Well, can I say, what they're glorifying is the technical achievement. The fact that it was planned, they executed it, and it worked. Okay, mm. That's like a group of sharpshooters saying, we glorify that tenant guy over in New Zealand for mm. firing the weapon quickly enough to kill so many innocent people in the mosque in New Zealand. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, very that's apt. exactly what it is. That's a very you apt, cannot uh, celebrate the yeah. technical proficiency of very people apt. that create evil. Yeah. You cannot. You're right. You're you right. must not. You can't. And I would invite these people, these uh, Cretan memorialists, to visit Crete and speak to the local inhabitants and see how they feel after that. Yeah. Yeah? Bit of communication. It's not about big boys with guns and swords and, uh, and mm. parachutes, mm. but actually speak to the people. Learn some stories about what happened there. Villages being burnt, kids being killed. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Bit of that. And better still, if you can't be bothered doing that because you're Cretan morons, Cretan morons, sorry. <laughs> Watch The Guns of Navarone. Great film. Great film, but but all about German depredations. Yeah. Yeah? Mm. I'm getting rolled up now. And I'm no, no, no. It's, and that's, there, there's a reason why I threw it at the beginning, and it's because it was, uh, it was a strong topic of conversation this week within the community. Uh, well, not only in the community, it received a lot of publicity in Greece. Yeah, oh, and there, there uh, was that some, was the other thing. Some there mayor a, of um of of Crete, that's right, one of the towns of Crete, but yeah. more significantly, and this is where I say it's very important not to forget. There's a Greek guy on the committee of these Cretan morons. Yes, I saw that. I saw that today when I was looking up their uh, their board of directors. There was a Greek guy in there's there. There's a Greek guy. Now, how ridiculous is that? I suppose you just use whatever excuse we usually use in the community, and that is, ah, oh, was a committee decision. I was outvoted. Is that what you use? <laughs> it's been used a thousand times, even though it probably does have the support of the people who actually claim that they didn't support it. Anyway. Uh, can you give us an example? I'm not going to go into okay. any examples okay, and bore the, the, next thing. bore the uh, 